Hi guys, so this is gonna be my third or fourth video on the update on my match 2023 journey for a match resident and I just would like to update you guys that since my last video um, I have first on September 26th I have certified and submitted my ERA CV uh, which is basically separate from the application to the programs and so I did submit my C refined and submitted my CV on the 26th of September and then I applied I picked out the programs which takes a lot of time the programs to which I would be applying to it I used Frida residence explorer and Mata residence um, list to go through the programs I will be applying to I wanted to make sure that they are IMG friendly to begin with and they actually do accept IMGs and they do provide visas so you have to make sure to look into those information individually because if they don't give visa and you are visa requiring there's no point of applying to that program so I did my program search extensively and then I submitted my application on the evening of the 27th because 28th September 28th was the day where programs are going to be starting to view the application so yeah so I submitted my application and since then what I've been doing it's been a month a little more than a month since then and I've been doing a lot of mock interviews to practice my interview skills which were really helpful for me so I through the, my mock interviews I refined my elevator speech which is the because the co most commonly asked question is tell me about yourself and you gotta sell yourself in like a couple of minutes and um, it's important what you say during that session interview session because you have to leave an impression so that they remember you and they decide to rank you. So I got to refine that speech and um, I was also able to focus on the things that are unique to myself through those practices because you know you might think that all these IMGs are very unique and different and from cult diverse cultural background what how can I stand out is like the question you may ask yourself right so it was helpful for me to go through mock interviews with attendings and uh, their applicants and get like a perspective of where I can stand out and how I can be a unique applicant so yes that's been helpful and I have already done a few interviews and I'm also waiting for more interview invites. It's still early November and a lot of people said that uh, the bulk I think is November, December and people still get interviews in January and February, early February and so I'm hoping for more numbers of interviews to come in and honestly it can be a little bit painful when you get the My Eras email and it says Unfortunately, we are not able to offer you a interview position this year email and you know, it's a little sad but you just hope for the best and I'm planning to send out letter of interests to more programs so that I can get more invites and increase my chances of matching because this matching process is definitely not easy and it can be very challenging and you just need to tell yourself that everything will be okay and even if it doesn't you know it does it's not the end of the world or it's not the end of everything so just remember to keep yourself busy and be positive and prepare well for the interviews for the interviews i do advise once you get the interview invite I, do, I did extensive research of the program, the program director, about the assistant program director, about the coordinator and also be always be courteous to the program coordinator because they are part of the team and their input matters a lot as well. So always stay positive during the interview session, always smile and interact with other applicants, be courteous, be respectful in every way. I am continuously rotating at the clinic where I'm rotating at right now in New York, which has been really great for me. And I'm also currently working on a research paper with uh, a couple of friends on heart failure. So that's been really helpful for me to be to keep myself updated on the guidelines and things like that. So I'm grateful for the opportunities I have at the moment and I'm grateful where I am right now in this journey and I am looking forward to what's ahead of me as well, whatever the result may be. So that's all I have today and I will speak to you guys again very soon. All right. Bye guys!